what up y'all and welcome back to another one what in the world is going on here dude what who's in my camper Whew. good morning from sand hill flyways <laughs> what this thing won't quit shaking what is going what are you Special doing effects <laughs> <laughs> well we got old bond's daddy oh, yeah. here you guys seen him in the end of the last video what are we doing today? What do you got me doing today? Are we gonna do catch and cook? I'm yeah. hungry. I'm hoping. I'm, I'm down, whatever. Whatever you catch, I'm eating. We gotta go check the pigeon traps. The only thing that's ever in the pigeon traps are pigeons, so <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. And they're usually alive. I like pigeon. Pigeon's good. We got Bradley here today too. Always pigeon. Try anything once. Ready for it? Uh, this is their first time being at the new place. It's beautiful. A lot more room. A lot yeah. more room. Yeah. A lot more room for activities all the activities yep we got the boys down uh first time here at the new house uh have been having a lot of fun just been catching up uh with hunting season not being here me and the boys we don't get to kick it as often as we usually do you know but we're making a trip out of it uh we have a big announcement that we're going to tell you guys here in a little bit uh we got some pigeon traps we got to go check and we're going to be headed out to jordan's to try out one of the new announcements we need to tell you all about first experience with the pigeon oh, trapping yeah. i'm excited are we gonna pull through and have any in the trap i hope so you better be good luck dude something brad brad isn't good luck when it comes to pigeon hunting yeah some things fall through i'm saying six we're gonna have six in there six in there six in there we're supposed to be doing a pigeon hunt today but uh it fell through jordan couldn't get off he had permission to the field but we're doing some trapping instead let's get up there it's raining we're gonna have to be careful no slipping on the ladders all right yeah don't be getting like wild on me what's your record in one trap how many how many have you got uh i think me and jordan we had nine total nine, okay. or ten something okay. like that okay. but let's go check it out easy does it boys easy does it <laughs> i'll take it i got i got you i got you easy does it boys like i said it's been raining up here this is like a vinyl roof. It's real slick. You got to be careful. I'm afraid of heights. You're afraid of heights? Not really. No, you're good. Be careful on this one, boy. It's just an Amish joke, Bob. <laughs> I didn't get it. Come on up, buddy. Come on up. I may have zoomed in on Brad's ass. <laughs> 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 the lady viewers are gonna like that one. Yeah, they will. Is that I may have zoomed in on your ass. <laughs> she thick. She thick, boy. You're good. Look, you're like me. You don't like ladders either. I'm sketchy on ladders, dude. Is there anything in it? Oh, jeez. Oh, boys, we got, we got dinner. Oh, no, we trapped a blackbird. What kind of birds are those in the trap? I thought you said we'd only get pigeons. They were supposed to only be pigeons. Oh, oh, one got out. Okay, well, I have no idea what type of bird that is. If you, Brad, you're, you're if you guys know, drop a comment down below. Brad. I don't know. I don't know either. But we're going to let him out. Let's let these bad boys yeah, ride on out of here. Yeah, he'll fly out. Come on, buddy. Come on, fly on out of there. Let me get this taken care of. Okay, that's our one pigeon we trapped. No, there's two. No, that's a bait bird. So we oh. leave a bird in there all the time as a bait bird and it yeah. works a lot better. Get out of there, dude. Get out of there, dude. Okay, well, this this is suddenly, this suddenly got, get out of there, dude. <laughs> so legally, you know, you're not supposed to trap these, but it's an accident. If you trap them, you're just supposed to let them go. I don't even want to handle them. Come on, buddy. Get out of there. Oh, there it goes. He gone. Close it up. We're gonna leave our bait bird in there. We're good to go. One bird. This is yours. You eating it? Austin's behind the camera. We'll eat something. Yeah. You got a new buddy? I think it's my new pet. Can I keep it? You can actually can if you want. I'll take it back to my apartment. Take it back to the flare farm. Yeah, something like that. There you go. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. It, it lasts a day. We'd find a way to kill it somehow. <laughs> yeah. Flare'd be eating it by tomorrow. Go ahead, Matt. Put them on in there. Oh, yeah. Good to go. Uh, dude, you were way off. 
Yeah, about five off. A little too optimistic. <laughs> about five off. <laughs> well, a little short of your nine. Is, uh, did you predict nine? No, Seven. six. Six. Yeah, six. only one in the trap and two, two odd birds. So again, if you do know what that is, drop a comment down below and let us three non-bird watchers know. Oh, well, we're here, we're here, we're here. Get off your phone. Okay. All right, we're here. What do you got hanging in the old freezer? You know, you all know Jordan. I don't have to introduce him. Oh boy. We took some stuff down, obviously, but yeah. I got a few beef hanging. Yeah, you do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Those are chunguses. Yeah. Beef cakes, literally. Beef cakes, dude. So this is what Jordan's got going on in his life right now. Goodness. You've been busy, dude. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> Well, Jordan's going through his goodie bag. What all he's got in here? What is that? Those are bull testicles. Bull testicles. Oh, I'll eat those. I know you will. That'll taste good. What's this, Jordan? That's uh, beef tongue. Cow tongue. I won't eat that. <laughs> okay, I might, I might try it. What's that? Uh, chicken oviduct. It's the egg tract. So... It's chicken guts. Oh, okay. But they're actually really good. Gotcha. What else you got in? This is a grab bag. Rooster eggs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they are. Poor roosters. What's that? Uh, wood what? duck, gadwall, and mallard. Oh, got some ducks you know? up in there. Mm -hmm. We're at Jordan's. We're getting ready to do a little bit of cooking, deciding what we're going to cook. Oh, well, like I was hitting around before, check it out. We're in here trying out some new seasonings. Yes, Mixing sir. up some new seasonings. Yes, sir. Making them. Yeah, we're making them. So, uh, I'm not going to tell you much about it because it's in the works, but be expecting ducks to come out with its own seasoning. Hopefully. Fight. If, it all, if it all falls together right, hopefully. It, it should. It should. It should. That man down yonder, he's going to make it happen. Ooh, look at this. Goodness. A little bit of rub action. Well, here we go. You know, originally, originally I was... I was gonna cook a pigeon that we trapped in it. I just can't bring myself to it. So I guess in this uh, catch, clean, cook portion of the video. I'm not mad about it. Right. I was gonna have you wring its neck. I mean, I, I like this better than pigeon. I'm I sorry. do too. Yeah, this might taste and that, I mean, really, four people, one pigeon. Right. Come on. What do you got going on here, Jordan? Ooh, got some ribeye action. Trying out the new duck seasoning. It's gonna be good. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, why'd you whip the camera at me like that, Bobby? It's gonna be good. Dude, your new Traeger though. This little dude sweet. is sweet. God, you went and got famous on us and you got a free Traeger. <laughs> Ooh, well, we're done here. What all you got going on? Uh, We got pork steak. Yeah. Pork shoulder steak, which I like better than pork chops. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure what you guys are calling this one. That was the mesquite. This one's what I call my jerk seasoning. It's what I put on everything. Right. So, go right. Ahead. Go in for it. Try out that new seasoning, son. Ooh. Is that thumbs up? That one's good. Good. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Darn. <laughs> so both are good, but. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm gonna try that juicy. This is fire. Oh god, I got a, I got a two or in one. Dangler. Oh. Oh my god. Dude. You don't gotta tell me I've been eating it for years. <laughs> You're going mesquite? You like mesquite better? I think between the two of them I'm leaning more mesquite. Let me try this one and I'll tell you. I tried that one. What are you thinking? I think this one's just a little better. Both are really, really good though. I'm impressed. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I can decide. That's really good. Are you going mesquite? I'm going mesquite. Mesquite? It's yeah. my move right now. The mesquite, I can tell it lasts a little longer. The, 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 this right here. Mm -hmm. This one's got the kick. It's got a spicy kick at the, the kick. end. Mm -hmm. Especially if you get a pepper on it. It's a little sweet and spicy. Yeah. But major what? shout out to old Jordan, the bearded man himself. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, you need to. He does all sorts of stuff like we all do. I'll link him down in the description below. Make sure you check him out. You've been doing awesome. The old pigeon trapping video hey, did good. I can't complain at all. Hey. It's been fun. Yeah. A brand new flavor though. It's an experiment actually. It's the jerk season bacon. Okay. 
So, long story short here. Bacon I make myself. <clears throat> we brought you along to do a little bit of pigeon trapping and then to come to Jordan's and eat because uh, why the boys are here right now, we're trying to figure out the duck seasoning. We're gonna come out with one or two, one or two options. There's gonna be one or two options uh, and we're trying to get it perfected right now. So, a little behind the scenes action, yes, sir. huh? Well, here we go. This is the ribeye and this here is the seasoning that we've all really been leaning towards. This Look at that. Be. Look how cooked, like perfectly cooked that is. <sighs> Should be a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, a mm -hmm. little bit of pepper. That's the one. Is it? Mm -hmm. Are you like, yeah. Oh yeah. I put that on anything. That's the one you want. Yeah. For sure. For sure, 100%. Uh, I'm going back then. Let me, let me try it out. You go My goodness. Okay, so one thing. That's a ribeye. Ribeyes are good by themselves. But one thing uh, I was raised with, when you make steaks, to take a little bowl, put your margarine in there, put your some pepper in there, and then melt it in the microwave, and then dip your steak in the butter? No, no, no. This seasoning does it all for you. Did I hit it on the head? Yeah, that's perfect. Isn't that what it tastes like? Yeah, it does. It oh. like the, you had like a stick of butter on the top of it. Yeah. I can see why on popcorn that would be good. You don't oh. even have time to talk. <laughs> I, was like, I didn't know the camera was here. I was eating. All right, Bradley. All right, let's go. This is, uh, this is the seasoning. We've all tried it. Uh, third and final seasoning. <laughs> Isn't it ridiculous? I think wow. you could put it on anything. That is. You could literally put it on anything. Oh, another one? That's hey, good. Have at it, have That's at it. Good. Go ahead. I'm telling you. I was like, so what I told people, I was like, I love to take a steak, dip it in melted butter. It's there. That's exactly what this is. Yeah. It That's what it tastes like. You've got the salt and pepper, but it really does taste like there's a butter aspect. Butter. Like you have straight margarine on there. Yeah. It's good. Melted down. That's good. Oh. I need another one. I'm telling you, if you guys want to uh, pick up this seasoning, it'll be available <laughs> in a month or two, and we will for sure be letting y'all know. Are you gonna eat it? And the carnations. Well, the first thing you gotta time do will tell, but slim chance. He said, "Time will right tell." Time. Hundred percent. I'm trying it. You're trying it. I will try everything once. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta try everything twice. The first time it might have been cooked wrong. All right. Okay. Oh, that's true. I like that method. You. <laughs> Anyways. Peeling, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Peeling tongue here, not something we do on the daily basis here. We don't, we don't usually. Man, that's some grainy meat. Are you gonna try this, Bob? Heck yeah, he's gonna try it. And he's gonna yeah, like try it. it. Have you had it before? I've never. Okay. No, I've never ate this. No. So you're making he, this a talk. Now Jordan has told me many times about cow tongue, cow tongue tacos. Um, I don't know. What's the deal with the tacos? Tacos. Tacos. <laughs> Yeah. They're, they're awesome. I mean, so anything tacos is good, but tongue tacos are the best. True. Anyways, here we go. Slicing up some tongue. Oh, are you gonna like see? Are you gonna season it with the same stuff? Uh, we're gonna put mesquite on it. Mesquite. Yeah, that's the best. Okay. Hmm. But you gotta parboil it first. That way you can take off that lining. Oh, so this is boiled already. This, this is. I stuck it in a crock pot, it's boiled, that way it's all the way cooked through, and you can take that tough lining off, and then after that, we're gonna pan fry a little bit, season it, and then it's taco time. Gotcha. Hmm. Something I have never tried. It, it smells, like it smells like dog food. Get down there, <laughs> smell it. Get down smell there. It. Shut up. It does not smell oh, like dog food. It smells food. like cat food or it something. It smells like beef. It smells like meat. It smells like... All right, well, we're following the bearded man himself. He's got a plan. Oh, we're in here on the stove mixing it. Oh, oh yeah. So here's the cow tongue. Man, so one thing, it smells to me like spam. See, but you have to get that out of your head. But that's what it smells like. It, okay, 
We right? have to smell a little bit like that. Is it the same type of meat or something? Do you know? I, I really don't know. I don't know either. You know what it reminds me of? Like eating liver for your first time. Oh, it's so much better than that. It's better? Good. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> kind of smells like bologna too. So Jordan just said something that's very true. Uh, like he said, to peel it right, you have to boil it. So it's obviously fully cooked. He said any boiled beef. With no seasoning. Yeah, with no seasoning smells like that. So bologna, pepperoni kind of smells like that. Uh, a lot of different types of just boiled meat. Kind of smells the same. So this will be my first time eating tongue. It is obviously seasoned. What did you put on it, mesquite? Mesquite. Mesquite. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. We're gonna try it next scene, let's go. Lingua. Lingua. So the majority of my clients that buy tongue are Hispanic. And so oh. everyone comes in and they want lingua. They don't want tongue, they want lingua, which is the same uh, thing. It's just kind of sounds it's better. It's lingua. It sounds more appetizing to me. Yeah. If you say, you want some lingua? Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, sure. Yeah. How <laughs> <Cow> tongue? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Brad's going to try it, though. Oh, dude, you're going to love it. Yeah, I, it smells so. I don't know. To be completely honest, like I'm still. If, if you like what? Tacos? If you like tacos, you love it. The smell of the cow tongue. Should I just try one piece by itself? Yeah, go ahead. Throw it in your mouth. Go. Tastes good. It, it's got a different texture. Kind of like mushy. Suspect. Did your computer even have time to process that? <laughs> <laughs> My computer is very dude, fast. Dude, dude, no, no, no. He had the same reaction he always does when he does these catch one clips. You throw it in and you're automatically nodding your head. You're already like putting it in your mental. You're like, yeah, I'm going to love it no matter what. No, it's, it's good. The texture's weird. <laughs> texture's a little weird, but the taste is good. The seasoning's killing it. Jordan, Jordan's firing it up. Screw you two. <laughs> what do you got going on there? That's what I'm about to so make. So what you do is you put your sour cream on. That way everything sticks to the middle. Uh -huh. Put your tongue on or your meat, whatever you're oh, using. Screwed up. And then you put your lettuce and stuff like that. And then you finish it off with your other condiments, which we have salsa verde oh. to keep it all there. Ah. Oh. Right on. Well, Bonzo's working on his. I'm gonna make up mine. You're gonna make up yours, I'll whether you dabble. like it or I'll not. I'll dabble. I'll dabble. We're trying the new duck I'll seasoning dabble. on some cow tongue. <laughs> well, this is uh, Brad's, <laughs> Brad's taco ready to go. Get in there, son. Get in there. I've almost forward. finished mine. Yeah, you, uh, Bonzo's about done. So, what's your final verdict on the cow tongue? I really like it. You taste the seasoning in there? You do taste the seasoning. The mesquite is is fire with it. Right. I, I'd eat another one. I'm not Wow. Complaining. Brad, he's going to give us an honest opinion. He's been sketched from the get-go. <laughs> I eat anything. Yeah, you, you're just a garbage disposal, dude. <laughs> that was actually my nickname in my whole job. <laughs> wow. Well, this must be a thing. Are you it's really contemplating if he likes it or not? <laughs> is the texture really bad? The thing is, I don't know if I want to admit I like it or not. Oh. <laughs> so it's good. A piece by itself. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah. All right. Good piece. There's a thick piece. Cow tongue. We like them thick. Oh, wow. Not bad. Okay, I understand what you're saying, Austin. The texture is weird. Extra mushy, little consistency, but the the taste isn't what I was thinking it was gonna be. I was looking towards, again, the spam type of taste, like spam, you know, it comes in the jar. Mm -hmm. It smells like it, but don't taste like it. Pretty good. What would you compare it to? Again, like you said, tacos. Yeah. It literally tastes like a hamburger taco mm -hmm. to a certain extent, right? Other than texture's the same. Texture's different. Everything else is the same. I'm making me one up. That's good stuff right there. Give me a little door in that right there, and the right there. Now this isn't completely COVID. What are we doing out here? We're not supposed to be in such a big group. Under 10 people, we're fine. Oh. Wow, that was a big bite. That's like half a taco. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> What's that white stuff on your lips? Sorry. <laughs> well, 
That's quite the meat cleaver you have, Jordan, but this cow tongue, I'll tell you, easy. Look at that. That is a, it's that's huge. a raw cow tongue. Yeah. Non-cooked. Yeah. So, the process is Jordan. Tell them the little process pre-cooking on the cow tongue. I take that, I put it in a crock pot, I cover it with water, I let it go on high for four hours, pull it out, let it cool down, peel it, slice it, fry it, season it, done. Boom. Well, we are back home. It's the next day. Uh, tongue tacos. That was my first ever uh, experience with eating cow tongue. But we got the boys here still. Yep. That was I, your first experience. I'd eat with it cow again. Well, you would? Yeah. Would you? Uh, I mean, if I have a choice, I'll probably pass. Yeah, I mean, I'd eat a steak over it. It but was good. Yeah, it, it was, was surprisingly good. It was a lot better than I figured. Jordan did great. Yeah. But I don't think I could cook it and to make it oh, taste good. It was the consistency. Yeah, it was weird. The consistency of it was real soft and mushy. And it smelled like spam to me, man. I couldn't get over it. But for what it was, it was really good, to be honest. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. Uh, that's like a Mexican Spanish, uh, like, delicacy, right? Yeah. Isn't it? I yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> I, wasn't as, I wasn't much of a fan. It wasn't not a bad. Fan. It wasn't bad. Jordan, not gonna be my idea. Jordan did a great job. He can prepare it good. Yeah. He can prepare it well. But it's cow tongue. Yeah. But that's all said and done. Uh, if you guys like the oddity cooking, you know what I mean? This or that, let me know. Drop a comment down below. But this is what we're getting ready to do. Check it out. So I've been hinting around about the blow dart gun. Where'd it go? Austin already stole it. You got the dart gun? Oh, yeah. there it is. My bad, my bad. Here it is. This is uh, this is what we got going on. Yes, sir. Tell them what we're gonna do. Shooting uh, challenge, blow dart shooting challenge. Blow dart shooting challenge. Y'all yeah. have wanted me to use it for pigeons. We're getting there. I'm trying. But first off, we're gonna do this. So stay tuned for the next video. Uh, the next one to come will be us three idiots trying to hit stuff from long range. You got it down? Oh yeah. Give them that technique one more time. Give them that technique. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. Big shout out to the boys be being here. Big shout out to Jordan for hooking it up for the Catch Clean Cook. It was amazing. A lot of good food. Some good duck seasoning to come this season. Stick around for it. We'll let you all know when it hits the ground running. But until next time. Peace. That was horrible. Your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real